Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays into the Gungeon. Let's do a Paradox run today. I mean, we just did, like, we did Gunslinger, one easily. Hunter, one easily. It's the best, best run I ever had, man. Best run I had. Well, we did almost die on Punch Out, but it was best, best run ever. Let's see what we got here. Okay, well, this is uh, better reload and weapon accuracy. Rusty sidearm and the mega dowser. This is where you say, you know, can we get a not like this in chat, please? If you're not familiar with Twitch.tv's emote hierarchy, not like this is the emote you use when something bad happens. Something amazing happens, you say poggers or pog champ. If the streamer says something stupid, you hit him with a, a thinking or perhaps a forehead. Like, oh, just, just earn more money, forehead, you know? You get the idea. Something sad happens, that's when you bust out the Pepe hands. I'm gonna give you a little lesson, I guess, in how to be a human being. But, there's a miniature Pog Champ on this one. Because... At least... Wow, what the heck? Didn't get hit, but felt kind of close there. At least... Ooh, that was so bad. At least you can use the Mega Dowser 100% to get inside of the Oubliette as long as you can afford one more key. So I've been feeling pretty good about uh, Gungeon recently. I honestly, like, I... Uh, the play in all of the games that I regularly played, you know, on YouTube, suffered last week. Last week was the first week back from being 16 time zones away. I'm not trying to say that I'm beyond criticism. I don't think that that's fair. Dude, I, I don't know. I, I think I... It's weird. Like, I want a gun force, but simultaneously I also want to have a better gun for the boss. But simultaneously, I also probably won't have the keys necessary to be confident opening a chest anyway. And also going to the Oubliette. Anyway. I'm not saying I'm above criticism. And that it wasn't just, you know, bad play and focus and... You know, etc., etc., that led to my indignity recently. But I've been on a, a better run in, in just about every game, to be honest. Even Spire. Even Spire. So I'm feeling like. Uh, Dustin. I'm feeling like there's a, uh, a chance, at least. Maybe I'm, I'm back in the saddle, you know, now that I've been uh, sleeping better. It's all it's psychological, you know. I would love to see what the odd because you would think, and of course I want to open that golden chest. You, you think this is my first rodeo? Of course I want to open the golden chest. We just we're gonna get a broad picture of how the rest of the run looks first, because it might be better to open a golden chest, hope that it has a gun, use that gun to flawless the boss, than to try to roll the dice with a. Uh, you know, a super soaker attempt on the boss, but, you know, I have to, I have to think about it. I'm hoping that maybe we just beat a room that drops some keys for us, and then the situation will become more clear. I mean, the Mega Dowser is bad, but it's not unusable. We could also, I mean, there's multiple different uh, avenues here. I mean, we could... Open the golden chest by a key, and then hope that we get a key from the boss. Now, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, that doesn't mean it's not the right idea, because we still, you know, we might get more than we would expect to get from the Oubliette, for example. Well, it's kind of put up or shut up territory. I'm going to open the golden chest, okay? Please be a gun. That's a gun. It's the gun bow. And then please drop a key for me so I can go to the Oubliette. Anyway, what I was going to say is I would love to see the, uh, the, the stats on what the incidence is of, like, two beds. Hold on, my brain. Two bad nights sleep in a row happening. Because you would think, you know, if you sleep bad one night, you're more likely to sleep well the next night because you're tired. That's the way, you know, intuitively it would work, for sure. But I also think that... You know, the... Uh, no! 
bad blank, bad roll equals bad result. No key, but I, I mean the golden casing is really nice. Um, well, we should open the brown chest then. It all is not lost here, by the way. It's just unfortunate. So forget the oubliette. Uh, we get poison vial. Not really like my number one choice, but that's okay. You know, sometimes I think uh, you get a bad night's sleep the next night. You're like, oh, I better get a good night's sleep tonight. You put too much pressure on yourself, like Anthony Mackie's wife in the first episode of Season 5 of Black Mirror. Hmm. I think we can afford hegemony rifle temporarily here. So this was... Th was that the worst possible outcome? Yes and no. Like, it wasn't the worst possible outcome, because we got the shot bow. The gun bow, whatever the heck it's called. Um, so, it, you know, it could have gone worse. We could have not gotten the flawless and also not gotten a, a decent gun. However, we should have gotten the flawless there because we had a gun that is, you know, beyond decent. Excuse me. This it doesn't feel like it has better accuracy right now. I know that it does because of the passive. I'm just saying, like, how bad was the accuracy to start with? Anyway, all's not lost. We've been on a, a good run of form lately. Not every single one of those runs of form has had, uh, you know, abundant flawlesses. Just kind of waiting in the wings. We've, we've had some runs with, uh, you know, a little bit more dubious start. And then there, there's every flavor of Gungeon Run, you know? You can play well, get screwed. You can play terribly and get carried. Happens all the time. What happens most of the time is I would say, to be honest, we don't... Actually, hold on. We don't want a gun force. I think we have a good amalgam of guns. I really appreciate the key, to be honest. Um, so I think we're, we're happy to try to stop the gun force. So that gives us one positive, one negative. You give us a lot of money. There's, there's a lot of interesting stuff happening on this floor. This floor is like a little... A little puzzle box already. Now, battle standard is useless right now, but it might become useful later. To be fair, I, I should remember on the last run, we did get Golden Junkin. Sounds like a character from the usual suspects, but is actually a, a character from. Real life. Well, maybe not real life, but, uh, you know. I mean, this is my real life. Even though it is also a video game. Hey, this guy, he always aims to miss. Who would have... Dude, that never works for me in PUBG. But in, uh, in Gun G... Works every time, apparently. You want to hit somebody in this game? Shoot to miss. That's how you get Austin, I'll tell you that much. Okay. So this would be a really, really good flawless for us. I think whenever possible, we should endeavor... Oh, boy. We should endeavor to hit... Uh, like on a, a, a parallel angle, you know what I mean? We should aim to hit the beholster straight on whenever possible, so they also get hit with the ricochet off the wall. Okay, that w you you gotta try, but obviously didn't work out. Wise, wise choice, but you're getting you're in the weeds. Tell you, some days you see the board well in Gungeon. Ha ah, ah. ha! And some days you don't. Why am I using this? Because I'm afraid to go with the mental overhead to change right now. Some days you see the board well in Gungeon. Some days you don't. This feels more like a... More like a don't. He should never have gotten that many shots on the field. I screwed that one up, like, immensely. 
Good god, okay. Well, dude, Glass Cannon is an incredible boss killer. But if you get hit, it breaks. I think we want full ammo in this for now. Um, if you get hit while holding it, it breaks, I should say. Let's let's go back to starting pistol temporarily here. As bad as this was, and, and it was not a, an encouraging floor from the perspective of, you know, watching your second favorite streamer play as well as he possibly could, um, we did get the result we wanted. So it's one where you, you know, you go back to the locker room, I'm sure, and the coach is like, hey, you know, you guys, you really dropped the ball on this one. You played a garbage game, but sometimes you get lucky. So you, like I said, sometimes you, sometimes you, you get the win when you don't deserve it. You know, you play a 5 out of 10, you get a 9 out of 10 result. Sometimes you play 9 out of 10 and the game gives you, you know, the mailbox or something. So, it's the, that's the thrill of the loot box in a game like, uh, well, any roguelite, really. You know, this ain't your dad's Call of Duty lobby or something like that. It's not necessarily a meritocracy. There's a little bit of merit, of course, but also uh, a lot of... Oh, jeez. It's not what you're doing, but what you're opening that counts. I was trying to think of something a little bit more, you know, a little rhyme time. Okay, so this, if we could get a blank here. I mean, we do have armor. You know, I think it is worth it. I don't know if that's just galaxy brain or... I mean, there's a key in there and a chest in there. as well worth an armor piece in my world. Yo, glass guanstone and what? Mmm. Okay, barrel or drum clip also synergizes with maybe oh hegemony special forces. Well, dude, we got two synergies to look up. That's unexpected. So let's start with uh, we'll go glass cannon. Uh, glass cannon, gungeon. I didn't realize so many things would be uh. Beating it. Makes sense, so. What? Glass can is a charge gun. If the player is hit, the fragile gas shatters and it'll lose all of its ammunition. Okay. Okay. If the player has glass guanstone, if hit, the glass guanstone will be destroyed, but the gun will keep its ammo. Oh. And then, the Gemini rifle... Hegemony Rifle turns purple and fires three green piercing lasers with high accuracy. Yo, seems pretty good. Alright, we know we want the Nod Key. Dude, I actually think Tangler is a fantastic gun. We definitely want this. Charm Bullets. I don't love the Charm Bullets, but I'm okay with the Charm Bullets. So then, we'll purchase Nod Key. Definitely feel content to give this guy a little bit of HP. I think we've, we've pulled ourselves back from the brink on this floor. I'm feeling a little bit more solid than you might expect. What do you got for me? How many, how many, oh, just one, huh? I actually think, you know, this is peak cowardice, but I'm gonna stop myself right there. Just, you know, casings are relevant. They're, they're definitely not irrelevant. But, I think we've done the right thing. You know, just keep yourself pretty much, you know, screwed on tight here so you're not going to die on the rat floor. Or, God forbid, on this floor. So, I think we, you know, we got to rethink our, uh, weapon priorities. Hold on, this required more than 100% of my brain power. You had to spawn another wave, didn't you? I knew it. You're not going to keep this up forever, but you got to pick the right moment to leave, too. Never should have gotten myself in there. But once we did, it was kind of, it was more fun that way. All right, so that's why you don't go too low on the HP front. This is kind of another reason why that room could be a little touchy. I just thought, you know what? 
In some situations, I think the best thing for you to do is just not think about it. I don't think there's anything wrong with the hegemony rifle uh, as a room clearer. In fact, I think the thing is, I believe the Tangler is a better room clearer and a better boss killer, which is why I'm using hegemony rifle now so that on the fourth floor and beyond... Okay, it's Ratwood. On the fourth floor and beyond, we feel compelled to... Or, you know, able to stick with the Gemini rifle. Or able to stick with the Tangler, you know what I mean? Plus it runs out of ammo real quick. Okay, so they're taking a, just a ton of damage here. It's okay, focusing too much on the salient commentary you're getting. Oh, I see it. Plenty of keys. Always nice. If we have to buy HP on this floor, not a problem. Now, in terms of, like, needs, desires, etc., etc., Much like Anthony Mackie in episode 1 of season 5 of Black Mirror, our needs are a little bit confusing, both to the viewer and to the the, the character. Um, we are not in dire need of offensive improvements. I think our best strength on this gun or on this run right now is our guns. Gunbow can kill the rat. Um, glass cannon could probably kill the rat. What else we got here? Tangler might be able to kill the rat. It's a little light on ammo, but it's a, it's a great gun nonetheless. Now, what are we lacking? Should be obvious. HP. Not not just like, you know. Not just this, but this as well. You see my mouse pointer there? I hope so. Otherwise, that's going to feel mighty silly. So this is not a compulsory flawless. We don't need the flawless to win. But it is one of those situations where getting a flawless would drastically improve our chances. That's why I'm taking the risk with glass cannon right now. Does take a little longer to charge than I like, but... Don't be afraid to blank here. Fair. Because if we blank, we've probably got him. So if we have to buy a blank, fine. If we have to buy armor, fine. I'm hoping we can get one if we don't have one to begin with. <laughs> now, unfortunately, charm bow. We'll see this synergy. Must work with bullets. Charm bullets, that is. Unbelievably charming. What it, we, we've had this before, but I'm going to look it up anyway. It's like the antithesis of the way I learned to play Isaac. Keep in mind, you know, you might be like, NL, you're not much of a wiki guy. Hey, when I learned everything about Isaac, I was like 23 freaking years old, okay? I'm a different man now. I'm a man who respects looking things up because I learned how to program. And programming is mostly learning how to type error codes into Google. The player is followed by a fairy that blocks bullets and displays the contents of chest. Hmm. You might be like, that's not really what programming is, but it's a big part of it. If you deny that, hey, let's go Ted a Ted in a whiteboard interview. I got, I, I'm willing to put up and shut up. In fact, it would be nice to shut up for a change. All I do is talk. What do we want for the rest of this floor? Well, it's not urgent necessarily, but you know, if we're gonna get Obviously, I want the best passive in the game. Okay, sure. But, um, barring, you know, obvious asks, thematically, it would be nice to get a better uh, spacebar item to replace Poison Jar, which is like, you know, it's not completely useless, but I wouldn't look to it as a, as a harbinger of... Uh, setting the tone here which is a little redundant i suppose but um okay first off you go to the charm bow see what you got in here rat ring that lets you trade an item per once per floor if i remember correctly ring of the resourceful rat so we could trade for example um 
the Mega Dowser, which we're, if we're being honest, never gonna use again. He gives us the Plague Pistol. Uh, it's not very good, but as we saw on our last run, you can get some synergies that'll make it pop, and you know, we might be able to use it at least temporarily here. I do see <laughs> Vampire Lord, uh, if, if I can get way beyond full HP, I'll be happy he's existing, but... For now, I'm not, uh, I'm not too thrilled. Now, Plague Pistol, I'll tell you, you know, if we get some pink ammo, maybe I'll use it more than just for now. But, uh, mostly I, I see this as, like, a room clearer when we're out of options or when we'd rather save our ammo for something else. And that's not necessarily bad. You know, everybody's got... You know, hey, there's television programs you only like to watch. Uh, you know, when you're when you're looking for something mindless, you know, you don't you don't put on the uh, Chernobyl when you're like, oh, I just want something to turn my brain off. Challenge mode. I do hate this, but I will do it. I hate it, but I you know, I don't hate it that enough to not go for it. Unfriendly fire and adrenaline rush. So I, again, as always, I have no idea what any of these modifiers mean. Oh, well, that was hard. Oh, dude, we got the pig, which actually makes banner uh, useful. And then you go charmed bow. Uh, dude, helix is totally fine. Actually, an acceptable uh, boss killer, I think. Not that we're likely to end up using it for that here, but take blank. Can't afford, can't afford. Buy two keys, we'll need them in the future. Okay, I think after like a relatively poor um, first floor. What's wrong with you, dude? <laughs> after a relatively poor first floor, we can uh, be a little bit prouder of ourselves. We came back. Uh, and, and except for that momentary lapse of judgment there, put down a pretty solid performance and, uh, you know, left ourselves in an okay position for the rat fight. I think the gunbow is, if I'm running into big enemies on the rat floor, then the gunbow is our go-to, uh, until we get to the rat fight, at which point we'll use glass cannon until presumably it'll, you know, probably we'll get hit and it'll run out of ammo, but... Uh, but we got a wide variety of options. I do think we're going to have to play very well to, to beat the rat at his own game. But when we play our game, i.e. punch out, I'm feeling it, dude. Okay, you know the deal. You start by going up. It's up, up, right. No enemies. You got to love it. We charmed him, dude. No, you don't get to shoot three times. So this will be right. Uh, Shaman Lord, he's got to go. I got to say, Gumbo, modestly disappointing DPS here. Maybe it's more of a boss killer. I thought because it pierced, it might be a little bit more effective, but shouldn't judge him too much. These are jammed enemies. But I think we'll go to the Tangler temporarily. And this is up right up. Now, you might take issue with blank usage there, but my philosophy on blanks is very simple. If it seems like we're going to get hit, there's no risk in using a blank. Getting hit now, getting hit later, they're worth the same. Plus, we got a blank back. <laughs> right. And then we're done. Okay, so... We could, uh... We, we basically just want something with a fast rate of fire here, and I think our fastest rate of fire is Plague Pistol. This guy got stuck on the table, thankfully. Gave me a nice outlet. Okay, we're free. Um, so, you should think very carefully about this. Gunbow... 
I do think Gunbow is your uh, red ammo pickup. And then you look. How's Tangler? Tangler's fine. If all this is fine, then you do take green ammo for the hegemony rifle, even though I don't expect it to be that relevant. So. It's gonna sound funky, okay? But I actually think that um, phase one, let's use our second best gun, in my opinion. And this, this might be an indefensible position. But, my defense is that our best gun is the glass cannon. And I, I'm worried about my uh, ammo with it. Just be cool as time goes on. So I think, basically, focusing for a sec. I can't rely on not getting hit right now. Clearly. I thought we could get safe. Stop. <laughs> so I thought we had to go for something a little, uh, a little funkier. I'm not using poison, by the way. I'm really worried about it taking up too much space, not giving me room to dodge. All right. I mean, even with no blanks left. I don't know, let's try Gumbo just for a second. He's got great map control. Ah! This is prime focus territory. Let's be real. Even after, like, we got... Uh... The pig! He jumped in front of the bullet! We come back with full HP. I actually... I, I didn't know that's what the pig does. I thought it just... When it took a bullet, it... Like, turned into a different NPC. Hold on a moment here. Hero pig. He is a true hero. Summons a pig familiar who does nothing. If the player dies, the pig will jump in front of the way. But it does remove an item from the player's inventory. Well, if I don't know what it removes, did it remove anything? How many different songs we got playing? Okay, so this is glass cannon territory. It's still, it's not automatic, but it, it I mean, we should be favored to win now for sure. This is... Is a great uh, return on our investment there. Especially considering I didn't even know what it did in the first place. So I'm trying to, wherever possible, like get the shot to also uh, sneak help. This is the scary part. Switch guns! Whenever possible, also get the shot to sneak through one of the turrets. You know, I'm just, I'm feeling a little rattled for a second here. Let me tangle him. Sometimes, you know, your brain, again, it's like the Chernobyl versus the Netflix shows about prison. Sometimes you just want to be able to turn your brain off and hold the button down. If we want to hold, turn our brain off, hold the button down, we should probably move to the helix instead, but... Okay, it has changed our life in a, like, no small fashion to be able to dodge that attack without using a blank reliably. It still, it requires a, it requires a, you know, a pair of brass ones to stand in there. I'm not going to deny that. Because every second of the day, it feels like you're about to be hit. That one also, just learning those two attacks has, has changed everything about this fight. 
You want to talk about too good to use syndrome. You're witnessing it right here. Now, if only I could learn how to not get overwhelmed by that one. I see it's another. It's, it's dicey, dude. That time I, I looked at the optics and I was like, we got time. We got time. Should have been using glass cannon, but dude, I don't know. Something more predictable, uh, like more a boss attack that's more predictable has me feeling a lot better about glass cannon. But I appreciate, you know, if we had cojones, we probably could have done a little better there. Oh, well, we made it to punch out. Thank you, pig. Easiest first phase of all time. Also got a free key out of it. One day we'll go for it, but today I'm feeling I got the adrenaline shakes already. Let's let's cool it a little. Okay, we got a super. Knock him out with the super. If you get hit, you lose it. Oh, we were so close. I did get one for phase three, though. I don't know what I'm gonna. Maybe it gives us a key no matter what. As long as we use it. Oh, dude, this is the best we've ever done. Just save that super, dude. You got to use it appropriately. Dude, is the best punch out fight we've ever had. Redeemed. This, the pig gave his life for this, and we made him proud. Spring heel boots. Give you the double jump, right? We got the dude following us around. Space Lord. RPG synergizes with something. Max pa uh No, it's Glass Guanstone again. We'll never know. Okay. See you later, brother. Dude! <laughs> At this point, I gotta take some credit for this. Mostly for Punch-Out, though. It was like the inversion of our previous fight. Because, like... On the previous fight, best rat fight we've ever have, we've ever had, I should say, and then totally screwed it up for uh, punch out, but still one. We can open three of these, by the way. Oh, you gotta love it. You, you still have to love it. We never need to use poison again. Go straight for the partially eaten cheese. Um. This time, one of the best punch outs. We've, probably the best punch out we've ever had. Now, okay, you can't drop it because you start with it. Fair enough. Um, what do you want to give him here? I don't really care about the double jump. So go ahead and eat those if you want. And I like Ring of Resourceful Rat. To be honest, I don't think we really need Charm Bullets. We're never using that. And the synergy with Charm Bow to see what's in chess is no longer relevant now that we're so rich on keys. So we'll probably use a Raiden Coil as our room clearer because it's, it's such a nice, like, set it and forget it. I do have people asking from time to time, why don't you drop guns to get the serpent uh, fed? Well, you, in order to drop guns to feed the serpent, which I admit is way more efficient than losing a passive because some of your guns are just, like, more or less literally useless. Um, consider this, by the way, your photosensitivity warning. <laughs> Raiden Coil does brighten the screen. Makes it hard for me to see, too, sometimes. Um, yo. But, uh... You need to use a, a two keys. So it's basically... You know, are, are, would you rather get one item from the... One extra item from the rat's chest? Or would you rather, uh... Oops. Yo, mutation. Very good as well. Similar thing, but not homing. Um, and we don't have the cool synergies for it that we had last time, but who knows, maybe we'll get there. Um, would you rather open an extra rat item, or would you rather have a, uh, you know, more passives in your inventory? It probably does depend on what passives you're giving up to him in the first place, but I, as far as I'm concerned, we gave up junk. So, I would always rather get one of those killer rat items. Now, admittedly, because we have two active items, even though they're both great, we're probably not going to end up using uh, one of them that much. And I think partially eaten cheese is probably better than resourceful sack. But it is close, and it's mostly, it's like an overhead thing. As long as we swap back and forth 
uh, occasionally. I'm not gonna be upset, I think. Oh, he's, he's alive. That was a surprise. You're still alive! <laughs> Alrighty. So yeah, I mean, uh, this should be a relatively simple run at this point, and uh, I do... You were an exploding man. I do think, like, earned is always, like, it's a heady word, you know? I do think we earned it on the punch-out fight, but... Basically, this run comes down to Hero Pig. The most legendary uh, creature we ever could have asked for. He came through in the clutch, and, and he... He did amazing... Excuse me. He did amazing work for us. The likes of which I will I will never forget. I am embarrassed to use a blank there, but you know why I used the blank is because I was, uh, I had to go through my mental overhead because I was using, uh, I was trying to switch spacebar items. Not that I'm really complaining about having too many good things, but you get the idea. You get the idea, uh, you know what I'm getting at. I gotta say, by the way, I'm, I'm liking this Gungeon loop where, uh, the most difficult part of the run usually is in the middle, but there's also like a little peak at the end as well, where you, you fight the uh, the advanced dragon. The advanced dragon has killed us enough times to not be considered just like a, a nothing boss. So I definitely think you want glass cannon plus like partially eaten cheese. Although resourceful sack is also like probably pretty great here. And I say that with the knowledge that we've... Oh my god, we've used it like a thousand times. Can I tell you something about Glass Cannon? Glass Cannon is a wonderful item. I think I'm too dumb to use it effectively. Like, if I had just used something else, it would take longer to beat the boss. Without a doubt. But we would have flawlessed it like 100%. But instead, I'm trying to use Glass Cannon. I don't know when it's fully charged. It's a, it's a whole issue. So isn't Ticket... It summons the Gatling Gull, does it not? Am I, am I dumb? Yeah, it summons Gatling Gull. So that's like a free... I mean, it's a free every boss kill, I think. I'm learning a valuable lesson. And you know, this is... You really have to be thankful. To, to learn a lesson... And also win is a golden gift. Because you're, you're learning in a consequence-free environment. Um, we have nine freaking keys, dude. What I'm learning is that glass cannon is... Uh, it requires a little bit more mental uh, fortitude to use than perhaps I'm capable of giving it in a lot of situations. That's not to say it's bad, but it might not be the go-to in every situation like I'm using it for right now. And we should be walking into enemies. There's like, there's not much excuse to not walk into these guys. Yo, uh, bouncy bullets. Yo, he's starting to learn the bullets. Starting to learn the bullets. Secret room? I knew it. Whatever, dude. How ironic! Hot lead. Check it and see. Um, we don't need any of these. Like, combined rifle is good, but, like, I don't know. We're not... First off, I don't think we can afford it. Yeah, it's a little too expensive. What do you got going on in here, then? Ooh. <laughs> a table tech blank is, is pretty close to being takeable, I think, but... Maybe in this situation, we just hang out. All right, so what's what's the game plan? The game plan is highly simple. Summon Gatling Gull <laughs> on the... Ah! Summon Gatling Gull on the advanced dragon fight. 
and you're going to be fine. There is, you know, there's room for improvement on this run. This has not been a perfectly played run. I wouldn't say we got carried just because uh, I think that, you know, first off, that is insulting to me as a human being. Secondly, on top of that, like, we did a really good job on Punch-Out. We got four keys. We've only done that one time before. It's fine. Um, I mean, let's be realistic. We could use the Emmentaler. It's a great gun. It's just kind of a, it's a little resident sleeper. That's an emote you use on Twitch when you're bored and you don't care about the mental health or mood of the streamer you're watching. You, you just want him to dance for your entertainment. Hey, hey. And I say that as somebody who's used it many times in the past. <laughs> so there's room for improvement. What's the big room for improvement? I, I really, I mean, to not flawless so many bosses is an embarrassment. Right, I can't fly, by the way. The thing it really is like, could we hold them? Sure. But we're getting to the point where it's like, is unnecessary. I got too many spacebar items to manage. Resourceful sack lets you hold like three extras, but I'm only using partially aged cheese. And then like in situations where it seems most important, sure, I'll, I'll, oh, I'm, why am I excited about a key lord, dude? There's a little too much chaos here, and we already have, uh, I would say enough keys. I would say it's just like the television program from the 1980s, eight is enough. That was a tricky room, and I, I got hit by something I never should have been hit by in a million years. What do I think my odds are? I honestly think unless Gatling Gold proves to be like hilariously bad on the advanced Dragon fight, like he dies super quick or something, we should be okay. Like I, I'm unconcerned, let me put it that way for now. And I'll always, anytime I, I excuse me sir, you spawned on me. Which one of us should take damage? Um, anytime I run into the slightest bit of dead air in Gungeon, I just gotta like take a moment. It's my favorite go-to. It's to go and just say like how happy I am to be playing Gungeon. Hello, my mimic friend. Like I, all games that I play are pleasures pleasures to play in their own way. And I know that's something that usually gets said when something actually sucks. <laughs> like when you're like, all my students are my favorite, but really you're like, you know, Jenny's my favorite. She does her work and doesn't uh, cut up in class. I mean, like, you're all human beings, don't get me wrong, but, you know, Jenny is my favorite. Um, hold on here, hold on. You gotta summon... My man. Oh, he's letting him have it. I'm fine with the Tangler, by the way. Should not have been... Hey! Okay, so, like, here's the thing. Switch back to not resourceful sack, but we'll use it temporarily. What, what is wrong with me? Switch back to partially eaten cheese. We're taking way too much just idiotic damage. I'm, I'm utilizing set it and forget it mode right now. Gatling go, you're doing wonderful stuff. Don't throw. Okay, he's still going strong. Anyway, all games are, you know, beautiful in their own way. However, I think I'm in Tangler territory. Or maybe mutation, but only... Mutation strikes me based on... Thank you. Oh my god, what have I done? 
After all that, I was like, don't use partially eaten cheese. There's better moments for it later. Um, after all that, I can't believe we got there. But, um, Gungeon, dude, is just so polished. Excuse me, um, can't help but notice, you know, the obvious here. Terrible dodge. I'm in the weeds, dude. What happened to my freaking Gatling gull is what I was trying to say. Got a little twisted up there temporarily. Can't stand there. Tickets ready to go. Summon him, dude. Should have put him in a more defensible position. Get that cheese ready to go again. Please do me a favor and shoot this guy. Oh my god, we only have one HP left. Okay, dude, uh, something's got to give here. Gatling, he's still going for it. It's a legendary performance. Oh! <laughs> Not today, dude. Not today. Oh, man, that was a close one. He's Look at it, he's still going off. Thank God we got the ticket there. That's all I can say. I'm a little embarrassed. Um, let's make sure we're unkillable here. Tem I mean, you gotta get that, right? Oh, that that that, that could have gone better. I did. I played really badly. I got lost in the weeds. Too many charge weapons. Too many beams. Got a little bit. You know, I was taking a PhD level class as a, a first year student. But you know what? We had a good lab partner, and we got carried. I even I don't know how the metaphors work at this point. But hey, it's another win. Bank it. Well, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm, boom!